<clears throat> Good morning, ladies. Firebase is a suite of cloud-based services that assist in the development of mobile and web applications. I want to emphasize its role in facilitating backend development, user authentication, and app analytics. Firebase is a BaaS, or a backend as a service, that stems from Google Cloud Platform. But Google Cloud Platform can also be used as a backend as a service, so why would we even use Firebase in the first place? Firebase is meant for people like you and me. Idiots. All of Firebase's features are super straightforward and easy to set up. So things like third-party authentication, database storage, application analytics, and web hosting are all super easy to set up and implement into your projects. To start off with Firebase services, I want to talk about databases. Firebase has two choices for database architecture. We have Cloud Firestore and Real-Time Database. Cloud Firestore is a NoSQL document-driven database that is used for static data. So if you're storing links to some images, Cloud Firestore would be better off than real time. Cloud Firestore also supports advanced querying, data structuring, and scales automatically. Real time database is slightly different. While they both aim to solve the goal of data storage, real time database updates in real time through WebSockets, HTML server sent events, and long polling. So if you're storing a user's level in an online game, and then they leveled up. When the data is modified in the real-time database, it is automatically sent over to the user's client and updated in real time, and the user doesn't even have to refresh their client for this. Moving on, I wanna talk about user authentication. Firebase authentication makes auth super easy, and it takes care of most of the security concerns that a developer would have to think about when implementing login features. They support various traditional sign-on methods, such as email and password and mobile sign-in, and also modern OAuth 2 providers such as Google, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you don't know what that means, that means the little sign on with Google button that you see on some websites, you'll be able to have that. Next, I wanna talk about Firebase hosting because no one can see your next billion dollar startup if you're not hosting it anywhere. After you build your project, you can use Firebase's CLI or command line interface to automatically deploy your project to Firebase hosting services. This allows you to quickly deploy web applications through a secure connection with CDN support. Honestly, no one gives a shit about Firebase hosting. Let's talk about cloud functions. Firebase cloud functions are a serverless framework that allows a developer to run code in the cloud through events triggered by Firebase's services or HTTP requests. But cloud functions require you to activate the Blaze or paid plan. So make sure that you don't make yourself poorer than a third world country by making an infinite loop in a serverless framework. Sorry, we're talking about cloud functions. A joke had to be made. It had to happen, I'm sorry. Everything I've talked about so far is something that you use in your front end and your back end that your users interface with. But Firebase also creates a great developer experience on top of this. And one of the ways they do this is with their analytics. Not only do they have A-B testing, Firebase predictions, and cloud messaging, but you can actually create your own metrics inside of your web app. These analytical features are great for small apps as they can look at metrics and analyze what they're doing right and wrong and adjust their practices as so. One thing I do wanna to touch on really quick though is that Firebase is completely free. They have a super generous free plan that allow you tens of thousands of database writes, reads, and all sorts of stuff. Firebase is also extremely extendable. There's thousands of extensions that you can add into Firebase itself that extend the capabilities that you have as a developer. But to use these extensions, you usually have to activate the paid plan, even if you don't exceed the free tier inside of these extensions. So just be ready to create a Google Cloud Platform billing account. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. If you're an expiring web or mobile developer, I recommend you to use a tool like Firebase. This introduces you into the world of cloud computing without throwing you into a deep end like Google Cloud Platform or AWS. And all jokes aside, actually start with the free tier. But there's only one final thing about Firebase that I want to talk about. What do I think about it? 10 out of 10. It's fucking perfect. Perfect.